Good morning, Forest. I'm Jackson. And I'm Emma Beth. Today's date is Saturday, December 5th, and today is our special edition WCAT After Dark Sports Show. We'll be taking a look at all the sporting events that went on last night at Forest and how our teams did. This year has looked a little different with high school sports overall. The Forest teams have stayed positive and have been working hard to make the best of a bleak situation. I can understand that firsthand, especially since last year my track season got cut short just before the state championship. It's great to see the teams working through this time of hardship. Yeah, with the recent quarantine of the girls' basketball team, all of our sports teams have experienced adversity in some way. There were four home events last night, and WCAT took to the courts, fields, and auditorium to cover each one. Our boys' varsity basketball team has started their season off on a good note. It's still early in the season, though, so there are always things to improve on. Let's get an inside on their game against Westport last night with Corley. Last night, our varsity boys' basketball team went head-to-head -head with the Wolfpack at their second game of the season and came out with a win, 60-25. to Our team's attitude going into tonight's game was just to go, get a dub, and just keep winning. The kids stayed together. They, 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 they trust the process. They, they believed in the process. Um, they knew that they, that, that they were the better team, and um, that we, as in we were the better team, and they knew if they, if they played the way they should, the end result was what was supposed to happen. With goals and priorities set straight, they know what they need to work on for the plans ahead. We want to win the county championship. Uh, that's important to us. We want to win the state championship even more so. Uh, so we're trying to get better every single night. Uh, we came out a little flat in the first half. Second half, we really picked it up and, and, and played our style. Um, we're kind of beat up right now. We're kind of tired. So we're going to take this weekend off and, and get some rest and uh, come back ready for the Nellon on Tuesday. But we need to keep this student, the student section going strong. Uh, we're looking for a state championship, and we need every single student to, to make sure that they're at our games. Our cats will continue to need your support, so make sure to come out next Tuesday at the Nellon at 7.30. For WCAT, this is Ms. Corley Daresdale reporting. Jackson, did you see those dunks from Brennan last night? Yeah, those were crazy. If you missed them and want to know what we are talking about, check out our YouTube channel for the live stream of the game. Great job last night, boys. That was a win well deserved. WCAT is working with the basketball team to live stream every home game with live commentary, so check out our YouTube channel or social media to watch the next one. While this is a sports show, we did have one home non sporting event last night. Our theater troupe hosted their district competition last night. Blakely not only competed, but gave us a better understanding on how it went. As theater approaches the end of the semester, they're going out with a bang with the Winter Showcase. Our performers have been working hard on these pieces since the beginning of the school year and are here to show out to parents and peers alike. From rookie actors to fourth years, our troupe is full of energy and excitement for this December's performance. I think over this semester, definitely, now that I'm older, and I've kind of gotten a lot, I'm very comfortable with acting and everything now, um, I think I've grown to understand a lot more of like the very like fine details of acting, and especially this semester, I've, I've been wanting to try and focus on more like specific things with my pieces, and I think, I think that has really helped with everything that I'm doing. After a semester worth of memorizing and rehearsing, our actors have learned and improved a lot. Connecting with the scene and having to get into character is a challenge, but the actors have learned to overcome those challenges individually. There's always going to be people who are better than you at what you do. And like when I saw people do the same pieces I did on districts, and like they were better than me sometimes, but also sometimes like they were going for a different thing. They were going for a different tone, different style. And that worked for them. It wouldn't have worked if I did it. But I did what I did, and I, I liked it. I think I was good. Performing in districts has affected me in, I think, mostly the rating aspect has always been one of my favorite parts of districts because you work really hard on these performances for weeks, and, and you put a lot of effort into everything that you do. And you can put it in front of judges, and they give you like feedback, and they give you really like nice details, and it gives you like 
a scope of where you're at and how you can improve. And I really like that part of districts. So I want to do more theater. I really love acting. I love everything about it. And I can't wait to do like maybe like a solo piece or like some larger pieces. It's a lot of fun. This has been Blakely Pitts reporting for WCAT. Now back to our anchors. That was some good acting if I've ever seen one. Great job to Troop 3069. We hope to see your best results. While theater was competing in their competition, Forrest's biggest rivalry was happening on the soccer field. Last night, Vanguard came to our house and expected to walk away with wins against both our girls and boys soccer teams. But neither of our teams let that happen and fought up until the final whistle. The girls took on Vanguard first and started at 5.30. Blake was there to report on how well they did. Last Friday, our varsity girls soccer team went against the Vanguard Knights in a game that left viewers on the edge of their seats. Um, as a team, I think we played really well. We were linking up passes and we were connecting, really, and which is something we've been lacking the past couple games. So seeing that in the Vanguard game and just seeing the team step up has been such a blessing to see. I think I performed okay. I definitely could have done better. I could have talked some more to my team and probably distributed some more. Um, probably could have played a little bit more confident as well. With the game ending in a tie, our girls soccer team is looking for a way to improve on their performance. I think our team can improve with our communication. We do a lot of things like without telling each other and we need to work on that because we find ourselves putting a lot of gaps in the field and that needs to be fixed because otherwise we're going to get ran straight through by some tougher teams. So we just need to start communicating and working together instead of one person doing one thing for the whole team. Be sure to show up and support our Lady Wildcats as they take on South Sumner on December 15th at home at 7.30 and be sure to show up to future sporting events. Reporting for WCAT, this has been Blake. Now back to our anchors. Great job, girls. You played a hard game and didn't give up once. Congratulations to Kanaya Dean for scoring the only goal of the night. Following the girls' game, our varsity boys soccer team took on Vanguard as well. Our boys came on top, winning 3-0 against them. Congratulations to Edwin Abreu, Dorian Jackson, and Zachary Parker for scoring the three goals of the game. It was a great game played by both sides. That's all the sports news that we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Emma Beth. And I'm Jackson. Have a great day, Forest, And like always, Go, Go Cats! Cats.